Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. In the last video, I did a bunch of raids with my duo teammate Spookdog and our buddy Puff. Unfortunately, we did not get any purples, but I also started doing Konar Slayer in the meantime because I feel like it'd be really cool to stack up a bunch of Brimstone Keys. And in my downtime, I've been doing Castle Wars up to 600 tickets out of the 800 that I'm going to need eventually. There's a lot of content in this game I have never tried before, and I eventually want to at least try out everything. Thing. And one of these things which we're going to be focusing on this video is Nex. I have never done Nex before, not even in RuneScape 2, I never did Nex. I was just a noob that chopped Ivy all day and I never would have even dreamed of getting to that point. Up until this morning, I have never even seen anything related to Nex. I haven't watched any guides or videos or streams or anything. So I'm starting with a fresh, empty mind for this boss. I did go in there once just to get the music track for the cape, but I never actually fought the boss. Now my duo teammate Spookdog actually did go and fight the boss and she has 2kc already although i wouldn't say after 2kc you really learn bosses well depending on the boss maybe um, but we are going to be doing this boss together in the mass worlds though because it seems like the mass worlds are at least the way to understand how the fight goes and learn the basic mechanics before we eventually move on to doing small teams so this video me and spookdog are going to be learning together how to fight next this is really convenient last video i got the first ancient blessing and that's a zeros item and we need a zeros item and that's going to work out perfectly if i'm using bofa but i don't know if i should use bofa or not we have one acb and one buckler so I mean, I guess Spookdog can use the ACB and Buckler, and I could use Bofa, or I could also use the Dragon Crossbow and a God Book or something. I don't know. I do have two other ancient items. I have the Ancient Coif and Ancient Bracers, so at least one of those will be convenient for Spookdog. I'm reading No Monkey's comment section, and if No Monkey says to use Dragon Crossbow over Bofa, then I'm using Dragon Crossbow over Bofa. Well, here we are. Here's my gear setup. I don't have the inventory set up because there's a bank when you get into the next area, so I'm going to actually set up my inventory for next uh, once we get there. I probably should just bring, like, better gear for getting KC, but whatever. We're just figuring it out right now. I was originally going to use the Robin Hood hat, but then I remembered we have Missouri mask, so using that instead. I don't know what's going to be attacking us. But yeah, just make sure that if if we uh, do die, to bring all four of the god items so that we don't accidentally die on the way here. And then for each one you kill, you get more than the normal amount of KC. Getting KC is super fast here. Like, you probably don't want to use ecumenical keys here because of that uh, multiple per each kill thing that you do. And then inside of here is... No way. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you steal the collection log items that I care about? It's a cool fashion scape though. One nice thing about having 99 herb lore is that it means that I've already made a bunch of potions. I have over 8,000 brews and 2,800 super restores. And one thing that I do know about next is that you go through a lot of brews at this place. So I'll just start out with this. I mean, maybe I should bring claws. I probably should change up a lot of things, but at least this is what I'll be starting with. All right, we're in. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Wait, is she dead? That, that was really fast. Yeah. Um, okay, we just, <laughs> did you just get a bunch of combat tasks? Oh, I guess you did it already. I got a bunch of combat tasks <laughs> done. Uh, I don't feel like I learned a single thing from doing that. <laughs> I was just praying mage the whole time and just eating the whole time. Yeah. Oh, it's nice to tag the blood reavers so you can see them easier. Oh yeah, I have them tagged. And another KC where I learned nothing. Oh, I got the Nile Shards, new collection log. Cool. Wow. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks. What are we even doing? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Ecumenical Shards. It's nice you get Casey while you're in here, so when you tally out, you can... Well, if we knew what we were doing, probably not have to get any KC, but we at least don't mm -hmm. have to get too much KC back. Oh, okay, that's us. Oh. Uh, switch to Faint. Oh, someone died. Wait, oh, I almost no. died. Wait. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Don't die. Okay. <laughs> I survived. Oh, I just got uh, another combat task done. Me too. Okay, I got empty hider on, so it's just going to show us two and wish just going thralls off too. Yeah, I left on the 2D for others so I can just see what they're praying without having their actual characters be in the way. Yeah, me too. I don't know what to do. This doesn't seem very viable to get drops. I feel like we're just wasting time. We're not learning anything. I feel like it'd be better just to find a team, a small team. Well, I guess I can't speak for you, but I don't feel like I'm learning anything else at this point. Yeah, I feel like I 
kind of got the basics down. And there's a Grandmaster combat task, which I believe is related to annoying your teammates. Loot from 15 necks is right here, but it's 434k. I definitely used a lot of brews and restores though, and I, I think I used like 90 ruby bolts and 15kc. Yeah, I don't know, it kind of feels like a waste doing this in the mass world. It's like we should be doing small teams, and I've been asking some of our friends about getting a small team together, so... Hopefully we can get that together soon. I mean, the mechanics I think are a lot different because you actually have to pay attention to the mechanics when you're in a small team, which you don't really have to pay attention to in a mass. In the meantime, while we're waiting, I think it'd be a good idea to go to Sarah to try and get a second ACB. I'm using the ACB in Buckler right now because Spook just went to go to shower, but um, let's gear up for Sarah. Wow, I just came here, I did one kill on the freaking mage and got dragon boots, very cool. Oh, that was good. Here's my collection log for Zilliana. I have 513kc, we got one ACB, one Sarah Hilt. Oh wow, the first kill we got the freaking Sarah's Light. <laughs> That's funny. The last time we went to Sarah was in episode 104, and while the duo method is going to be the same as last time, my running pattern is different this time. I've never used tile markers for Sarah or tried to be tick perfect. I've always just ran from corner to corner while hitting in the middle. But I realize now that doing that caused a lot of tick loss, which meant slower kills. And literally right now, before we went in for this trip, I just quickly looked up a Sarah guide and I found this nine to zero method, which means it's a circle of nine tile markers markers, or I guess technically more of a nonogram than a circle, um, but I hit nine times and Sarah hits me zero times in this cycle. I just copied down the tile markers from that video and I'll link that video in the description. I tried to export these tile markers and I made that into a paste bin, which I'll also link in the description. I hope I did that right though, because I've never exported tile markers before, so hopefully it doesn't include a couple of random tiles I made today and next. For this method, the only weapon my teammate has is a blowpipe and she kills the ranger, then the major. And pretty much, as soon as the ranger's dead, I really don't take any more damage throughout the kill. Also, we quickly realized that it would be best to have her start the kills in the same corner I'm in, in the northeast, so that way Sarah always starts by going in that direction. There are ways to optimize my running pattern, like the markers that are only four tiles apart, I could walk for the last two tiles, but you'll see by the end of our trip that it really doesn't matter in teams. Like if you're soloing, then supply usage is a bit more important. But with our method, our trips can easily last six plus hours without struggle and supplies are just not an issue for us. It's pretty much just whenever we get bored is when we leave. A couple other tips for any team bossing, I'd recommend using the hub party panel plugin and the party plugin, which lets you see your teammates inventory, stats, and other info. And for Sarah, I'd also recommend using menu entry swapper and shift right clicking starlight to make the left click be walk here. So that way your left click will always go onto Zilliana. One more thing I realized with this tick perfect running method is that stamina potions go a lot further since the kills are faster. And you'll see how much we have left over at the end in just a bit, but I figured out on average I use one dose every three kills. I have alter. Oh wow, <laughs> from the minion. Oh crap, I clicked on the item and it despawned. No, the freaking item despawned again while I was clicking. We've done 64 kills this trip. It's been almost three hours and we still have a whole bunch of supplies, but we're gonna go because I'm hungry. So this is insane. We could just like stay here indefinitely, I feel like especially now that we know the right amounts of supplies that we need to use. Hey, I'm just editing right now. I thought this would be a good time to mention our kills per hour that we were getting, because I didn't mention it before. It was about 24 kills per hour, not including time spent getting KC or EQ keys. This essence thing kind of takes up a lot of space, which I can drag around, but I can't resize it. I found this plugin here called Better God Wars Overlay. Let's install that. And now the essences are smaller and I can resize it too. We're going back to next, by the way, we found a small team. Before we jump into it, I just want to explain what's going on. So our good friend Josh, who's also a streamer slash YouTuber, said he would teach us next and he really did an amazing job at it. He explained everything before and during the fight and would just constantly call out stuff and correct mistakes as they were happening. Obviously I'm not going to learn all the mechanics and execute everything perfectly on day one, so I was making a lot of mistakes still, but I feel like I was learning so much new stuff every single kill and the rate of progression just felt 
out really fast. So yeah, big thank you to Josh for all the help and I'll link his Twitch in the description. When I learn new bosses, a lot of the time I like to show tips and tricks in a sort of guide-like format. But to be honest, I really don't understand this boss well enough at this point to know for sure if I'd even be giving you the correct info. So I'll leave that for maybe a future video. But one tip I will give you, which applies to anywhere that you use thralls, is the thrall helper plugin. It lets you set up a warning to tell you when you don't have a thrall up. But with that out of the way, let's get into the live commentary next clips. Long story short, what that does is, oh my god, you gotta be fucking... <laughs> Alright, sorry, you guys see RuneScape? Oh. <laughs> what? Hey, I got a video title suggestion. Huh. Your next kill count is one. That's genius. Good luck, everybody. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. I forgot to tell you, run away. Ah! <laughs> hey. Good job, guys. Almost got the 1KC Nihilhorn. What's your real KC? Like 10 or something, you said? Uh, that was. Oh, for me, that was 16. Nothing for nobody. Yay. Oh, we just got the Ancient Ceremonial Legs. Collection Log Slide. <laughs> no way. Loggy. What? Two kill trip. Wait, that was a two kill trip. You're right. Yeah. I thought you were saying let's do a two kill trip, and I was like, I don't know, man. My supplies don't look very good. <laughs> you should expect one next drop about every 400 Nile shards. Oh, okay. According to Rice Cups figuring, and it seems like it has held up pretty well. Oh, and that good. does actually account for the random ones you get while KCing. It does include that. Pray, 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 pray. Don't forget. Night. All right. Oh, oh, no. Car got stacked. Oh. Fuck. We're doing this one for Kara! <laughs> Anything while you're underneath there? Good luck. My drop, thank you. Nothing. Oh my god! Oh, yes! Oh, no way! Yes, man! Congratulations! Yo, what the fuck? The yes, what the fuck? Man. Hey! Thank you, Kara, for the sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, no, oh, Grandmaster Combat Task, perfect next. Hey! Oh, okay. <laughs> Good job, team. You're welcome, man. It was a hard carry, but you know, I've been doing my squats this week. <laughs> Kara, Squidward looking out the window at everybody's exclamation point. <laughs> you chose to restrict oh. your... No way! They're doing everything no. together. Wait, what? God damn. No, there's like something weird that happened. Like my camera angle moved. Is that... Oh, happening? yeah. She, she Oh, yeah. That. She jostles your camera. Yep. Yeah, if you turn <laughs> camera plug in off and on in room light, I'm not even kidding you. That'll instantly fix it. Oh, I'm a next master. 25kc. Damn. The goal you set out for from the beginning. <laughs> Good one. That was a three kill trip, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, that was fun. I don't think I got another one in me, unfortunately. Thanks for showing us the ropes. Are a little I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You guys want to do it again tomorrow? I am not currently ranked for next, but I will log off. We'll refresh this. And now I am ranked for next. And me and Spookdog are heading off again for another Sarah trip. I mean, if you want to start picking up coins, you may as well just um, like drop a prayer, a prayer pot because we're definitely not going to need it. True. I'm sure the hundreds of K you get will help more than one single prayer pot. I can buy more bank space. Yeah. My next set of bank space is 20 mil. And thankfully, my cash stack is also 20 mil. Oh, oh. No way! <laughs> no freaking way! Holy ACB number two, the exact thing that we were here for. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. It's so easy. We just got the drop. <laughs> Quite simply. 616 KC. Oh my gosh. That woke me right up. <laughs> and here's the back to back drop. Easy game. Never. <laughs> so unfair. <laughs> Were they? You're really close to them. They're to the east and south. A little bit more southeast. One tile south. No, no east. <laughs> you just went in a circle around them. Wait, really? Yeah. You're doing that on purpose now. <laughs> doing what on purpose? Oh, it's Sarah and Sword. I have a gift for you. And I have a gift for you. Really? These nuts? Ha, no one's ever given me a gift before. Wow, thank These you. Nuts. Okay, that's 50 kills done. 
which was about two hours. Goodbye. We're just always gonna have so much supplies left over. Next time, yeah, we'll just go in with like some empty inventory spots. So yeah, 24 kills per hour, 50 kills. There's the loot from it. And most importantly, got the ACB. It's so crazy. Like how did the game know that that was just the drop that we wanted? Well, <laughs> I guess it knew that we were just at next. Before I log into the game today, we have to go over the game update and holy dude, I was not expecting this to happen so soon. There is now an evolution of combat achievement rewards and how they're attained. Previously, in order to unlock the rewards of the combat achievements, you would have to do every single task for that tier. But if you completed a higher tier first, you wouldn't be able to unlock the rewards unless you finished the lower tiers first. But now it's been changed to a points based system. So in order to unlock the next tier, you have to get a certain amount of points and the number of points that you get per task corresponds to what tier of combat achievement you complete. So as you can see here, the points per task for easies are one, for mediums it's two, hards three, and so on. And you can see on the right how many points you need to unlock the next tier. This means that now if you want to get say the elite tier or the master tier unlocked, you don't have to do temporos or winter toad for those easy tasks. And of course, in general, it makes some of these higher tiers more accessible for a lot more players, myself included, uh, because when I log in, I'm going to have, I'm gonna guess the hard tier, maybe elite tier, but it should be at least the hard tier auto completed. Let's find out though. Actually, before I log in, there are a few more things I just wanna quickly show in the news post. The Abyssal Lantern, you can now buy with pearls. You don't have to worry about RNG anymore. You can still get it from RNG but it's now 1,500 pearls. Uh, you can now buy looting bags from Slayer Masters for 10 Slayer points, very nice for UIMs. This one's really nice. So in Chambers, there's now gonna be a bank chest in the lobby area. Once you start the raid, you won't be able to use the chest anymore, but this means I won't have to use my main for scouting because when I do solo raids, I would scout on my main, see what the rooms are gonna be, grab out the specific items I need for those rooms from the bank on my group Iron Man, and then go in and start the raid. Okay, here we go. Let's see what I got. Is there gonna be, wait, maybe I have to open up the combat tasks. Oh, okay, I have the hard tier unlocked. Look at all that chat box spam. All right, let's, I'm gonna go over all the rewards. So let's head over to Gommel at the Warriors Guild after this Brewhouse run. Hello, Gommel, it is the first time I have seen you. Yes, I am Max and have not completed the easy combat achievements <laughs> until now. So we're gonna get uh, XP lamps, Gommel's hilt one, there's the medium tier. Oh, they're separate hilts. Okay, and then there is the hard tier, Gommel's hilt three. What does a maxed player use XP lamps on? Probably Herblore as an Iron Man, maybe Prayer. Maybe Runecraft, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff unlocked from these. I'm just gonna go over the rewards on the wiki page. Uh, starting from the easy tier, we get the XP lamp. 5% increased chance to get easy clues from anywhere in the game besides Implings. Gommel's Hilt 1 gives you three teleports to the God Wars entrance. You can now choose to get assigned up to 40 boss kills from a boss task. You get an extra Void Knight point when you do pest control, and you get double Warrior's Guild tokens from the Warrior's Guild. Onto the medium tier, XP Lamp. 5% increased chance for medium clue scrolls from all sources besides Implings. You'll start to notice the pattern here. Gommel's Hilt 2 gives you five daily teleports to the God Wars entrance, and when you have it equipped, you don't get that extra prayer drain at Barrows. You can now get assigned up to 45 boss kills for a boss slayer task. You get triple warrior's guild tokens, two extra void knight points at pest control, and the cannon can now hold up to 35 cannonballs. And then onto the hard tier. XP lamp. Hard clues are now 5% more common besides implings. Gamble's Hill 3 gives unlimited teleports to the God Wars dungeon, so that's actually gonna be really useful. Uh, the boss slayer tasks, can, you can now get assigned up to 50. And now this is where the rewards really start getting juicy, the God Wars benefits. To enter into a God Wars room now, I only need 35 kill count instead of 40. EQ keys are 1 in 55 instead of 1 in 60, and I can now pay to have God Wars instances. I can combine the KBD heads with the DHCB, although we don't have a DHCB. It now costs half the amount of points at Nightmare Zone or Soul Wars to imbue stuff. I get three extra pest control points at pest control, which is the max out of all the combat achievements, and the cannon can now hold 45 cannonballs. So where am I at now with the combat tasks? I am now 62 points away from the elite tier, and I think that'll be a good goal to work on in the next video, in the next, next 
video. But I do want to do next for one more day today in this video just to see if we get lucky before we wrap things up. And opening the group storage just unlocked nine more group storage slots. First time using the Gommel's Hilt 3. Like I said, unlimited teleports outside the God Wars entrance boulder here so I can skip past the running from either the Trollheim teleport or the uh, Troll Stronghold teleport. Just Straight here, it's very nice. Now I think the proper way you're meant to get KC in bulk is to use a blowpipe and Serp Helm and just tag a bunch of monsters, but I'm not like going for efficiency or in a rush right now or anything. It's probably even for the best that I don't get too much KC in case I die, then my KC gets reset anyways. But yeah, it's gonna be super nice now that I only have to get 35 follower KC to enter each time. And later on, whenever I go for the elite tier, I'm only gonna have to get 30 KC to go in, which is gonna be really nice. And there is the 5% more common hard clues in action. I'll run in with the spec. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. She saw you! <laughs> oh, no. No! <laughs> no. Wait, I'll follow you. Wait. I got a blood block! No! Oh my god. Oh. Oh, dead. Oh, no way. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get a drop no for that. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> my <laughs> game saved me, guys. You saved me. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. All right, that was a scuffy. <laughs> Today was Spook Dog's editing day, so she didn't join us, but we did four man necks all day, except for that last clip you just saw where our teammates died, and it was just two of us and we barely clutched it. Seeing as it's day two now, I actually have a much better understanding of what's going on than yesterday, and I've learned there's two main important mechanics to know for small team necks, which is shadow bouncing and follow stalls. Shadow bouncing is during the shadow phase. We all line up against this wall, we hit necks with our crossbows, and then immediately run back to hug the wall. The bouncing part is when Nex will occasionally run up to us, and when that happens we run two tiles inwards from the wall, which would put us directly in the middle of Nex, and if we all do it right then Nex will run back to the middle. Also my tile marker is one tile off here, just imagine it's one tile up from this one. The other mechanic, follow stalling, is mainly used during the last phase of Nex. So in general when you follow someone in the game, you get put on the last tile they stood on. So in this last phase, what everyone should do to set up for follow stalling is walk a tile under next and then start hitting next. So that way the game will make anyone that then follows that person be actually standing under next. And whenever next moves you're gonna have to set your follow tile again. When I see next aggro me I immediately follow someone and following someone I believe is like the same thing as doing the red x method and this prevents the boss from moving. But you don't want to stay under next for too long though otherwise next will fly to a different part of the room which is kind of annoying. But I think five to eight ticks is a good length of time to be under Nex. When Nex is aggroed onto you, you want to switch to Prey Melee, and then when Nex stops aggroing you, then you go back to Prey Mage. I believe it's four hits that Nex stays on you for, or it's technically three hits that you'd be doing the follow stall for, because that first hit is when you would see that you're aggroed. This boss is basically a yellow potion simulator. You go through so many freaking supplies here. This is why you want to stay on top of your birdhouse run, so you never have to worry about nests. I'm really glad that I learned at least the basics of those mechanics and the basics of the next fight in general. I feel like I'm at the stage in the learning process where I don't necessarily understand why we do the stuff that we do, but I know what to do, if that makes sense. But yeah, let's jump back into the live commentary. I thought she ran off. What happened? You might need to brew in a sec. It's all right. We're going. We're closing oh, on them. We're keep running and brew. Oh, keep running and brew. Keep running and brew. Yep, that's the next walk. <laughs> that is the legendary next walk, but you survived it. Good job. That's the ancient ceremonial mask. New collection log slot on the group Iron Man. Oh, it's number 666. Oh, you typed that. <laughs> nice. Oh, I just got ancient Press ceremonial on gloves. gloves. Yep. Collection, collection slot. Collection log. Yep. No way, the mithril arrow from the assembler. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh no. This is like EV Scape trying to make streamers laugh or something, man. I'm not buying it. Did you really, motherfucker? <laughs> bro, I was sitting here minding my business. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? I to want me? to use the altar. Man, whatever. A likely story. <laughs> You dive bomb me. I, the one time I'm not getting put in prison. Look, I wish I, <laughs> I wish I was that good at calculating stuff in the game. Well, that was fun. Yeah, hey, good little session, man.
I'm not going to complain about a little 20 session, uh, twenty piece on the next. Now that I've settled down for the day and done approximately 5 hours worth of Castle Wars, let's go over the next stuff. Today we averaged 4.4 kills per hour, and again this was in 4 man teams. We got 19 kills and this was the loot from today, but it's, like I said before, we just go through an insane amount of brews and restores that like... The loot doesn't really mean much, to be honest. Here's the total loot from all the necks I did, 52 KC. I think it was the first 15 that were in the mass world, so the first 15 I'd probably say don't really count. So you could argue this is more like 37 KC. And so what Josh was saying earlier that Rice Cup said that on average every 400 Nile shards from necks, or even from including KCing, uh, you would expect a drop. So by that logic, I'm at like 17% of the drop rate. And if it took 10 hours to get to about 17, 18% of the drop rate, then that means it'd be about 50 to 60 hours to meet the drop rate for any item in my name. So we got a long way to go, but I'm just gonna be doing Castle Wars for the rest of the night while I edit. At the start of the video, I had 600 Castle Wars tickets and now I'm up to 729, so getting pretty close to being done. But with that said, we're going to be wrapping up here, so make sure to check out my duo teammate Spook Dogs channel if you want to see what she's been up to with her half of the progress. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time. Next time.